the client needs to build a small business network. There's two floors in his building. On each floor, he needs to install four IP cameras. He also needs to install the access points on each floor to provide the Wi-Fi coverage. The client has two special requirements. First, he doesn't want the employees or the guests to see these cameras or the network video recorder after they access the Wi-Fi, which means we need to have the isolation between the Wi-Fi network and the video surveillance systems. Next, he wants to keep all these cameras and the network video recorder within the building. He doesn't want these devices to have the internet access. The common solution is to use two switches on each floor, one switch working with these cameras and the network video recorder, another switch working with the Wi-Fi access points. We would like to present a different solution using just one switch on each floor, but we will create VLANs to isolate the Wi-Fi network and the video surveillance system. All right, now let's move to the demonstration board and see how we can create a VLAN for a small business network. Before we dive into the detail, I want to say we do have the free online courses. It covers the IP camera, access point, fiber optic cable, etc. I've put the link in the description below. It's completely free. Now let's see what we have in this setup. We have a PoE switch in the first floor. We will use the first four PoE ports to work with these four PoE IP cameras. The network video recorder is attached to the port number 5. The port number 10 is the SRP slot. We have inserted the SRP transceiver. Now it's working with this single mode fiber optic cable. This cable is made in the factory with this pulling eye, so we can pull the cable between this two floor directory. Let's move to the second floor. We have the exactly the same model, also another PoE switch. We'll use the first four PoE ports to work with the four PoE IP cameras. We also took the port number 10 to work with the fiber optic cable. You may be wondering why we just use single strand to connect the SFP slot on the first floor, because this is the BIDI transceiver it will take different wavelengths to transmit and receive the data, so single strand is enough. Now we need to create a VLAN on both network switch to isolate these IP cameras and this network video recorder. There's two inventory, we'll see two VLANs in both switch. One VLAN will handle the network transmitting for the Wi-Fi coverage. Another VLAN just will handle this IP cameras and the network video recorder. And this network video recorder and IP cameras don't have access to the VLAN, the first VLAN to access the internet. All right, now let's configure the VLAN on both switch. First, I need to connect this computer to this PoE switch. It's better to pick the last PoE port, port number eight. Otherwise, after we create the VLAN and assign the VLAN to this four PoE port, we lost the access to build invest server in this switch. Meanwhile, I also want to disconnect the fiber optic cable. Since both switch are using the same IP address, I want to make sure I'm working with this PoE switch. The default IP address of this PoE switch is 192.168.2.1. This is the login interface. If you don't see this login interface after you input this IP address, you probably need to check the network setting of your computer. Let's go to the network. Make sure the subnet is set to 2. The username and password are LDMIN. First, we need to create the VLAN members. We are going to give the new VLAN number 20 to our switch and we'll assign this port which will work in with these IP cameras and the network video recorder to the VLAN 20. VLAN 1 is the default VLAN. Other devices such as the access points, computers, we use the VLAN 1. And the device in the VLAN 20 cannot see the device on the VLAN 1. They are completely isolated. Now go to the VLAN settings. We are going to assign the first four PoE ports plus the port number 5 to this new VLAN 20. We will choose the VLAN type to access. We will explain why we are going to need port number 5. 
we click save one last thing we also need to configure the port number 10 this port is working with the switch on the first floor through the fiber optic cable we are going to choose the VLAN tie to trunk then it allows all those two VLANs to pass through both the cameras and the access point can go back to the switch on the first floor then we click save we have done the setting on the PoE switch on the second floor let's move to the switch on the first floor I've done exactly the same setup on the first PoE switch create a dedicated VLAN assign this PoE port to that VLAN also configure port number 10 as a charm port which allows both VLANs to pass through we have two cameras on the monitor now let's install the access points to provide the Wi-Fi coverage I'm going to use this short patch code to link this access point to this PoE port remember we have created that KV VLAN and assigned port number 1 and port number 5 for the video surveillance systems so we only can use the rest of the PoE port to work with the access point let's pick port number 6 and connect to this PoE port on this access point then we can repeat the same setup on the PoE switch on the first floor then we got the Wi-Fi coverage from this access point and video surveillance system with the dedicated VLAN remember we also create port number 5 and assign the VLAN 20 to port number 5 the reason is if you want to access these cameras or never video recorder through this computer we need to go through the port number 5 meanwhile we also can add another never video recorder and connect to the port number 5 and have the redundancy recording on the second floor eventually we have two network video recorder one on the first floor one on the second floor and both network video recorder will connect to all these AIP cameras all right that's all for today's video if you have any question please leave a message in the comment section below